Hey guys, Xmaster here, and today I'll be talking about the new Teaser King teaser trailer uh, for The Taken King. Now, I'm pretty sure this is based on the stream, but it is also reveals really cool stuff. So, yeah, here it is, and then I will be back. We should have known Oryx was coming. This is bad. Sidekick, check. Roguish commander, check. And then we have the Guardian. I'd say we're ready to get this done. So yeah, it's a pretty cool trailer. Let's start out with the beginning. So now we see uh, a little bit more on the cutscenes. Uh, and they look really good. And from what I've heard, the dialogue is also very good and descriptive now if you see here we have just some guardians uh, you know strolling entering the dreadnought i guess then we see this it says new level cap and light so now they're separating level cap and light this is a description of light your light score is an average of the attack and defense values across all of your currently equipped gear a higher light score improves both your damage output and your defense so they're basically merging it into light, which is pretty cool. It makes it a little bit more simpler. Uh, as the, I'm pretty sure the attack numbers and defense numbers, people weren't really understanding. Now this way, I, th they, I think it makes it a little bit more important. Because you can see it says current light 214 and then the next is 200, 215. So I think they're making it a bit better. Now we see uh, he is level 40, which is in the cap, I'm pretty sure. And also in this uh, screenshot, we can see the hunter is wearing all common gear, and of course that doesn't affect its uh, level, experience level, main level. But the light is still 214, which is pretty cool. I would, I, I want to see. Of course, it's merged, so I think the weapons are basically carrying lights there. But we can also see here there's an amazing artifact. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a legendary artifact. It's like a red crystal type thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but whatever it is, it looks cool. Now, we don't know what artifacts do. It's like a fallen thing. We, we're not sure what the fall artifacts really do, but they they're look really cool. Now, we can also see under the light that there is it shows uh, your intellect, discipline, and strength in a new way, and it's supposed to show it in seconds. So I think the max it can go up to is one, two, three, four, five on each one. And right now it just shows, I think those little bars are supposed to be seconds. I may be wrong and there might be, uh, those might be different. There might be two seconds or something, but now it displays in seconds. And then we can see this hunter is on the Night Stalker uh, subclass by looking at its subclass. And that emblem looks really cool. Hopefully there are new emblems for all of them. And then we can see... Thorn, the Eye of Soul, some random machine gun, and then we have common green and ghost. Now this is cool because we get more than one ghost. Um, if you haven't pre or if you didn't get the ghost edition, that was the only other ghost you could get in the game currently. I was gonna go get the ghost edition, but they were all sold out. So yeah, I didn't get that awesome ghost, but now we can get common ghosts and all types of ghosts. Now moving on, we have Patrol the Dreadnought. This fire team is going to patrol the Dreadnought. You can see their levels 35, 37, 40, and then their light levels under. Now we take a look at the ships, they look pretty cool. And so yeah, the Dreadnought is like set on Saturn or something. It's uh, Dreadnought Rings of Saturn, so it's the Rings of Saturn. And now we get here upgrades and materials. And then we have Lord or Shax. Lord Shax um, and his inventory, we had a bit of a view on it. Legendary Marks are the new type of marks. They're merging Crucible and Vanguard into Legendary Marks, and they're obtained from Daily Heroics and Daily Crucible Playlist, as well as dismantling Legendary Gear. Now, as you can see, this new gear that Shax is carrying is pretty cool. The 
first of all we um we see cloaks and they look really cool we see boots we can't really see behind that uh reputation detail box but we can see these ghosts now they all appear to be the same even the one behind the reputation detail box but maybe they have different perks as do uh vanguard gear pretty much looks the same but they have different perks and iron banner gear i'm pretty sure has different perks where they look the same most of them so yeah and then moving on we have this shot of a mission complete fallen saber it's an acronym i'm not sure what it stands for but we see this Amalon future war cult and cannon being reloaded so this tells us that uh each uh faction will be having their own Amalon, soros and haka developed weapons and then we can see here that he gets legendary marks house banners legendary engram and some random blue auto rifle so now when i went in my earlier video of mine i said that maybe uh, we won't be getting commons and rares because we don't need those and they said that this will the taken king will contain the largest arsenary in destiny uh, including the original launch but i guess we will have commons as they have said in rares but they will actually be pretty good now they said they might they'll probably be even better than our current gear so that's pretty cool moving on we have questing and then here you can see the new quest page. We have the Sunbreakers Challenge, which is how you get the subclass, I guess. The Tale of a Guardian's Quest to find the Sunbreakers. And then we have nothing left but the fall. The story of the fallen and the city and their battle for the future. So yeah, that's probably where the story uh, gets explained a little bit more. Then we have the... Uh, so the first quest the name was Bound by Fire. Then we have Restortion. I don't know which one is actually the name, but and then there's numbers. I don't know if that's supposed to be an order uh, of or the steps on which part you're in, but whatever it is, it looks cool. Maybe it could be telling the difficulty. And then we have Restoration for nothing left but the fall. And our cry for help is the mission that we saw being completed, Fallen Saber, the tale of a Golden Age rally calling from the Cosmodrome, and the Guardian. And it says something. WI except it's blurred out I can't read the rest so moving on we have the Taken King the Taken King had come the tale of the Guardian that went out to meet him they died not so maybe those I don't know what that's supposed to be a Legion's beachhead the Guardian's assault on the Cabal Skyburners entrenched on the and there's nothing more there shield brothers and then the next one veterans tour the tower offers its thanks to the Guardian for all they've done over the and talk to the speaker so yeah those are the quests and there's page 32 uh, there's a page 2 and you can keep up to 32 I guess or I don't know what that number is supposed to be he says 932 and there's only 6 here so then we have our bounties placed 12 out of 16 which is pretty cool you can keep 16 now then we see this titan I guess getting a sunbreaker he just flings his hammer in the air faction light allegiances we have future war called faction badge faction allegiance super work called support war future war called war cult what does the future bring we alone have the answer it has always been war war between humans war between species war between light and darkness war is the fundamental fabric of the universe dare we defy it will you help us prepare and then you can accept allegiance and so yeah then we have the badge identifies you as a supporter and ally of the Future War Cult. Supporters gain Future War Cult reputation whenever they earn Vanguard or Crucible reputation and may purchase this faction gear. You can also you can only hold one allegiance at a time and you can only change allegiances once per week. And it costs two uh, 2,500 Glimmer. And then we see this Future War Cult helmet looks pretty cool. And in the background of their faction gear. And then we have collections and vaults. Nameplate collections, artifact slot, exotic blueprints, legendary marks, arms day, infusion, shader collections, level 25 character boost. Now, this is all really cool. Nameplate collections, I don't know what that means. Artifact slot, we know what that means. Arms day, don't know what that is. I think it's Wednesday when you order something from the gunsmith and it comes on Wednesdays. You can buy a legendary guns and it, you order them and then they come on wednesdays we have exotic blueprints which we're, which we're about to see legendary marks we already went over that shader collections we know 
you'll be getting, I don't know exactly all about it, everything about it, but we know that infusion, you know, this sounds like a new ascension type thing, but whatever it is, it's cool, and a level 25 character boost. Now, that might be the special thing that people uh, get who want to make a new character or are starting out with the game, they can boost up to level 25. And then let's go into collection dim vault. Here we get a quick shot of someone taking the fourth horseman out, I guess, of this weapon blueprint. Now we see year two primaries. We have this awesome new looking auto rifle. Uh, then we have Monte Carlo. Then I think a new icon of last word, but there's a last word in year one primary, so that doesn't make sense to me. And then Hawk Moon. And all these are 3D now, so that's really cool. They, they've improved them and they just look better. And then we have the bad juju. Then in year two special, we have some fusion rifle, I think. And beside it, we have these, what looks to be like the sleeper stimulant. But I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a heavy. And then we have the fourth horseman. And then year one primaries and year two heavies and year two primaries. Now we're not sure exactly how these will work, but whatever it is, it's going to be cool. And then we have collection one, collection two. So yeah. And then they say and more. And then we just have information on the stream that's supposed to happen Wednesday. So yeah, this is a really cool trailer. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for daily content. And I'll see you next time.